Okay, so Caroline, the other test we're going to do is lifting the leg up and down, up and down, just mm -hmm. to see how much strength or maybe even discomfort you have in your glute muscles or your okay. hip muscles. Okay, so go up and down with the leg. Up and down, up and down, good. Continue on, maybe just do even 10. And so you wanna have your knee and your foot aligned and try not to lift with your thigh muscles because it's already tight in there and it's mm -hmm. strong. So you wanna really activate this area you're good. Okay, how does that feel? It feels heavy. Mm -hmm. Feels heavy and tight. Okay. All right, let's work on it and then mm -hmm. see how far we can go with the flexibility through it. Okay. Okay, so Caroline, there's your tailbone or your sacrum area. Mm -hmm. So the piriformis muscle, which is the one that goes from the sacrum here, the tailbone area, yes. to the greater trochanter, so it runs across this way. Yes. If this muscle is tight and your sciatic nerve runs through the middle of your piriformis, you'll find that this whole area kind of like spasms on you. Yes, that's right. And then you've got the glute medius going across this way, and this can get really weak and tight. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the glute minimus, which is just around here underneath all these layers of glute max, glute medius, and then underneath it. So all this area kind of like locks up on you, and you may feel like this is just really, really tight and stiff. Yes. And then it starts to pull on your front, it starts to pull on your back, and you're all a mess here. Is that how you feel? That's exactly right. Okay, so let's work on it and then we'll come back to it. Let's take this leg across, the foot across the knee, mm -hmm. and just relax. Breathe in and then breathe out. There you go. That's a bit easier. It's moving a lot more. Yeah, it's going across. I don't have to really struggle. Yeah. Mm -hmm or push across, really, yep. that's just a nice stretch now. Yep, yep. Now I'm going into one of your hip flexor muscles. Mm -hmm. It's the psoas muscle. That's right here on the hip, okay? Mm -hmm. And it attaches just below your hip here. So this is the one that can be responsible for pulling on your back and giving you a bit of back problem. Right. Only because it stays so tight and it shortens everything like yes. this. So if I release this, just mild, massaging through the muscle. You should feel the back releasing just from this spot here. Mm. And then we'll test it again with the um, stretch again. You should feel good. How's that there? Comfortable? Yes. All right, relax there. Take this leg out. Press this foot in. So we just keep on testing just to see. There you go. Look at that. How far have you gone across? Yeah. That's awesome. I love this. <laughs> it works. It does. Let's turn you over, just giving your baby a a break from that spot that you should. Just do it again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Better again. Yeah. Is that better now? Mm -hmm. A bit? Yes. Go across. Feeling better still? Yes. Much, much better. A lot better. Okay, let's have you back here. Without any pain in my sacrum. No pain now? No pain. Wow. That's good.